What's going on everybody? Today we have another video for you. Uh, it's ball reaction comparison with the Codex and the Sherlock. Jack will be the one testing the balls today. Uh, numbers on the Codex, 15 pounder, 250 RG, diff 058. And a Sherlock is uh, 248 RG 054 differential. So we're gonna start off with the Sherlock. Uh, both balls are pin up. The only difference is uh, CG locations a little left on uh, the codex and the mass bias is in the thumb. Mass bias on the Sherlock's swung out a little bit, so a little bit stronger. Um, just bowling on a typical house shot. And uh, as you can see, the, the ball, uh, it hooks pretty much. Jack's pretty far left. Um, the lanes were just oiled. Um, it's like 40 feet, probably lower volume, like maybe like 23, 24 mils, I think is what they're putting out here now. Um, we just got a couple shots here. You can see the ball gets into a pretty good roll. Um, pretty good back end, uh, down lane motion. First couple shots, Jack was a little right. He moves left a little bit into the oil, um, so the ball doesn't start up as quick. Because um, you kind of saw he was leaving like weak tens there. So he just had to move a little left, get a little bit more into the oil. Um, as long as the ball's around 10 down lane, like on this shot, it's perfect. And 10 back every time. So I'm sure most of you may have had a Sherlock, may still have a Sherlock. Great ball, great heavy oil ball, um, great ball if you don't have, you know, large, you know, large rev rate. Um, here's the codex, in the same spot, look like it got cut off there a little bit. Um, mass bias in the thumb. He starts the same spot, you can see he gets a little right down lane. Uh, just kind of rolls out a little bit going into the pins. So he just kind of moves his eyes a little left, moves his feet a little bit left, tries to keep the ball in a little bit further. Kind of the same as a Sherlock uh, in the oil a little bit more and the ball reacts very well. Um, one thing I did notice with this compared to the Sherlock, um, it's a little harder to see because the ball um, is pretty dark. So the Sherlock, it's easier to see when the ball is actually like changing direction. The core like really lines up a little tougher to see with this ball. Um, but this ball seems a little cleaner to me, a little smoother and then when it is in the oil, it goes through the pins better. You can see when it's exiting the pin deck, it's left and not straight back or to the right. Kind of like right there on that shot, he loses a 10 pin, but it, it ball is kind of going straight back. Um, the shots that he strikes on, or even on this shot, he loses a four pin. You see the ball still going left through the pin deck, whereas that Sherlock wasn't um, as much. See kind of where the ball exits the pin deck here. See it kind of drops straight back through the five, splits the eight, nine, which is Perfect ball reaction. Um, and then, um, yeah, he just gets a little bit further left, a little bit further left. Um, starts pointing the ball a little further right, but keeping the ball and the oil in the front part of the lane uh, was key with both balls. Because if it was, you know, hooking too early, it was just flat 10 or, um, you know, kind of a two pin type kind of reaction. He didn't really come light at all. He was pretty much in the pocket the whole time. But every time he did move left with his feet and move his eyes left, it was usually like a four pin and he had to move his feet a little further left uh, with that codex. So as always, uh, we really appreciate everybody watching the videos. Drop a like, comment below. Um, if you you know if you wanna see another video with comparing something else, we will have an idle and uh, haywire comparison here in a couple days. And we're also thinking about doing a comparison video on the USBC Nationals team pattern from last year. Uh, early reports are that the pattern is pretty similar in length and probably in volume. So if that's something that you guys wanna see, if you guys are going to Nationals, please let us know and um, we'll be sure to do that. So as always, thanks for watching guys and have a good day.